Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff Paul Chukudi Eze is asking the court to compel the defendant John Chijoke to reimburse his father with the sum spent to establish a Peru to change business, which he has taken over. The defendant Chijoke claims his father has lots of money and does not need a refund. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. <coughs> Your Honor, this case is between Paul Eze and John Chidioke. That is one on hold. Thank you, Akin. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Paul Chukudi is a you are the plaintiff here, yeah. and you brought John Chijoke Umesego to court. So can you narrate to this court what's going on here? The case was uh, a case of brood change. What do you do for a living? Brood change. You do brood, that's the business. Yeah. How long have you known him? I just know him like three years ago. I'm so listening. I've been in brood change since 1996. Okay. So the father brought in for me to teach him how to do bread change. I accepted. When was that? That was in 2017. Okay. So when I started talking, I discovered that since he has not been in the market where we are, we are doing business, he may not cope because the business needs need knowing people who will be your customer. Since he is not there, he cannot cope with the little money, if at all he is giving money. Even if 10 million, he cannot cope with the business in the market. So I now called him that I will meet his father. But the only way he can make it is if, I, if they get a license, which he will be managing for the family. That's the only way recently he doesn't know people from Kotonou. He doesn't know anybody. So even in the market, he doesn't know importers who can just give him money to go and change and come back. So he told me that if I can do that, he will be very happy. I went to the father. I explained everything to the father. The father said that he doesn't, he asked me how much it is. I gave him the bill to do the license. He said he doesn't have the money. The money came out to be for five million one hundred. He said he doesn't have such money. Then I now told him that the that five million will be returned. The other ones will be both licensing fee and so on. And thirty-five will be returned. Will be returned. CBN. Yes, with interest by CBN, with interest. So after all this, the man told me that means he has to go and uh, liquidate the money he uh, he fixed for his health. I said that is the only way because the business once it's established, so many people want it. But when it is established, it will be a very good uh, something for the family. He said, okay. Later he called me that he's ready. That day he told me the people that would be as directors. He said his son, he himself, and the first son being Chijuk, and the second son, and he himself. So when we are now putting the names of uh, the directors, he, he was allocated 80%. The wife, 10%. Then the father, 10%. I don't understand. You are talking about... Yes, she okay. Okay. Right. was allocated 80%. Okay. Then the wife, Chijuke's wife was, was allocated 10%. Then the father was allocated 10%. 10 but the agreement we all had was that the business belongs to the father. The returns and whatever will go to the father until he is no more alive, then Chijuke can have it. When the, license, when the license came out, the whole agreement we made, Chijuke, the moment the money dropped into that account, till this moment, Chijuke blocked everybody 
The father has been calling me. Where is my money? Where is uh, the license? I have done everything possible to call this guy to come. At least that is our, our plan. Even in the voice call me and he had that I recorded on my phone, he made it clearly that when the license came out, we will go to the house and celebrate it. But since that, that time, the father has been looking for him, nowhere to find him. He has been doing the business on his own, running the business on his own, making profit every week. He is making 1.6 million on his own. To go and give the father the 20 million that the father wants for medical checkup, he refused to go. I have done everything possible. I didn't get one kobo in this transaction. I'm supposed to get five million when I'm processing this thing for them. But they are from my, my town. So, and uh, it was my uncle who brought them. I don't know them since I was born. Only that 2017 that, the, my, that my uncle brought them to me. So that was what brought us here. Are you true? So, Tijuke, can you uh, tell me your own side of what actually happened? Yes. Mm. Well, I met him, like he said, about uh, 2017, when uh, me and my father decided that he wanted to start a business for me. So, we had the option of choosing between two people, him and one other person. So because I had an interest in business before now, I studied business administration. So I liked the idea of trade fair and I chose him because he was a younger person. So um, when I went to him, I started staying in this place, but I noticed he doesn't involve me in most of the business activities that they do. I don't know why, maybe because I didn't have uh, cash to trade, but I wanted something practical. It was months and I was driving a long distance from K2 to trade fair. So- K2 to where? Trade fair. Okay. So. That happened, so I, I, I said, I, so I talk, while talking to her, I realized that the whole, um, the main advantage of being in business is having the license. So I started persuading him to, that why don't we uh, push for license? He said that, yes, that's what am I waiting for, that if my father can agree. So I talked to my dad. My understanding was with him was that, yeah, like he said, it, it's the business was for me because my brother wanted to do something else. That was stock exchange. And the agreement was the business was for me. So I only decided that as a benevolence that he did, I also entitled to take care of him. You know, I agreed to at least be giving him some returns. Who? My father. I don't get it. That's opening the business for me mm -hmm. as a person. So the returns I'm getting from it, I, I assured him that I will also be taking care of him. It was not because if he was supposed to be in the business. Anyway, you said he's alive. He will still yes, come yeah. around to state his own side okay. of the story. So, so go ahead. So... Uh, that was the understanding I had. So, as at the point he took the money, he did, nobody even sat down for us to agree this thing like he's saying. There was no sitting down like that. I don't know when him and my dad had that understanding, but the understanding I had the team was this business was being started for me. Then, along the line, some months later, after the CAC was out, so I think I took it to my father. And when he now saw that my wife's name was inside there, so I think that triggered his dissatisfaction with the whole process, and he started wanting to say that he would want some money back. So eventually, I think um, he started calling him too as well. So maybe he gave and him the- Can you tell me exactly what he said? He, to, he said that my Oga told him that the money will return back. And I told him returning back is for us to do, use no, no, it to no, run the business. No, um, he's not in the courtroom right now. Who? Your dad. He is. Where is he? He's supposed to be here. He's not here. Hmm? He's outside. Outside, okay. Mm -hmm. What's, I want to know what made you to come to that conclusion that, that because your wife's name would, is your yeah, name. Okay. So I'm, uh, that's, that's you, you kind of clear. odd to okay, me, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah, we came and started saying, that how does my wife get into the picture? And remember I said they agreed. So I think maybe because of Odin, my father tend to have, um, we would call it amnesia or something. Father, amnesia. Amnesia, like, you know, tend to forget. How old is he? He's almost 80. It's not really old. Yeah. So, 
And at that point, that was when I started, he started emphasizing the fact that money is coming back and that he wanted some money out of it. And I was telling him that from my, from my own understanding and research about the business, that that was part of the reason why CBN required it at 5 million minimum uh, working capital, because um, it was a, a regulation to run the business. So, and moreover, he didn't have any business he was going to invest it in. So why, if he even if- his money, that's the wrong I understand, I was, I'm telling you the discussion we had. his money, he can do anything he wants with his money. I understand. Do you understand me? No, no it, uh, we didn't- You said he didn't have anything to do time. with the money. He gave you the money. I just want to correct your mindset yes, on yes, that. Yes, of course. That he had your interest at heart. Mm. That money is his own. He can decide to do what anything he likes do with, with his money. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, then when he came back, he, um, he started calling me that I should return that amount of money to my father. He said he said ten million. He called you. Or your dad requested for it. No, he called. He called because me and my when my dad was telling me, I told him that there's no way I would be able to remove 10 million from the business now. That is still Your new. dad? Yeah. You told him that? Yes. His money? The plaintiff, Paul Chukudi Eze, trained Chijoke on Buru the Change business and facilitated a license for the business. He alleges that Chijoke reneged on all agreements made and cut off communications immediately. Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, returned the 35 million naira license deposit into his account. The defendant claims that his father set up the business solely for him and he is not under any obligation to refund him. George Fumi waits into this matter. So does that uh, that's a bit insensitive? Yeah. The, the, why? Why? On your side. Why it may not be insensitive is because of the background from where I come from. Like if you read, if you uh, my write up, I told you that he is no longer staying with my mom. That's not so. I did, you, why, did, did, did he invest in you when you were he was still staying with your mom? Or was, after? I didn't grow up under my mom. I I said, mm. was this still staying with your mom at the time? invested in the period of change business. No. So why didn't you reject his money then? If you feel no, so strong. Why? why, why? If you, wait, wait. If you feel so strong about the fact that your dad and mom and you are blaming him for it, which ordinarily you should not. Not. Because you see, when it comes to couples, there are a lot of things that you don't know. Yeah. It's only what they say out that you know there are a lot of other things that are down there they are not ready to air off. If a relationship will work, it will work. If it won't work, it won't work. That's just it. So if for any reason the marriage did not work between your dad and mom, and despite everything, your dad still sees you as his loving son, and still took 45 million naira to invest in you, and all you can say now is that because he's no longer with your mom? That's not that. I'm okay. trying to say something. That's not right. my point. Okay. I'm not having that focus. I'm all ears. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm just trying to say part of the reason why it was uh, didn't easily want to return the money. Because, one, he's selling him he borrowed money. We, the, the land where I was working with him, actually, I suffered a lot of um, uh, damages when I was working. I was the production manager. And there was only a time when the TDI, the chemical part of the chemical, because I was making foam too as well then. I didn't so, get that. When we were in the company, mm. I suffered that I was working in the company without as part of the family, working in that business. So eventually when the business got burnt, he had he, he later disposed the land for almost 300 million. So and over the time I I kept I going to him to like seek favor that he should start something for me. So I knew he had money. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Not, I didn't reject. He still is money. I know he's money, but I'm trying to say that, that I am not thing, being insensitive. That's one thing I want you to know. Because hmm. you see, I need to correct that mindset. Yes. You are a young man. But right now, the feeling I'm having is that you have a very wrong attitude towards life. I'm a blunt person. You can just put yourself in his shoes. You have a son that you invest in, do you understand? If you decide to invest in your son, despite the fact that you are no longer with a mom, it's because you have made up your mind that whatever happened between you and their mom will not affect the relationship you have with your children. Do you understand me? And it's only reasonable for that child to take that stand and be appreciative yes. of whatever he has done. Yes, ma'am. You struggled though. You really struggled. Were you able to put money together? 
Could you say you have 10 million in your savings before he brought 20, 45 million naira out for you? No. You have peers out there. Nigeria will say hustling. A lot of your peers are still hustling. Younger, older. That's the way it is. Some people just need that soft landing. Somebody to balance them and they pick up. That's what he has done for you. Yes, ma'am. And I believe you should appreciate that. I'm very really appreciative. So if he needs part of his money, it's only logical that you pay him back in good faith. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. What goes around comes yes, around. That is life. I'm advising you. Yes, ma'am. From experience of life. Yes, ma'am. All right. So I'm listening. Okay, so. That was what happened. So he was calling me. So I, I already I told my dad that I should be paying it gradually, that he should not um, uh, demand for the money at once. So that is in short, the whole idea of coming here was. So, how much have you given him out of it right now? He didn't want to even listen to the fact that. We how much pay him. are you ready to advance to him? Uh, I'm ready to advance at least. I can start with 5 million, then I'll pay him. Then when will, you, when will you advance? I'll pay him up to 2 million every year. Every year? Yes. That's ridiculous. That is highly ridiculous. Based on what is, uh, it's based on the returns we are making from the business. It's not about returns now. What is going to happen is, if you have 35 million naira to trade with, automatically, I want your mindset to be that you have 15 million naira to trade with now. Because you are going to advance 20 million naira to him. It is money. It's not your money. And if you think, you probably think he has set you up and you think that is the end of it, he has no right or nothing he can do about it, don't go there. Because we are talking about father son relationship. Okay, let him come because whatever I've told you now is just based on what my opinion based on what you have said. So let him come in. Along the line, I might end up saying something that will change my mind. I don't know. So, Aki, sure. can you bring him in? Can I have your full name? John. Chief John Oumasebu. Okay, so you are junior. And the name say. Um, I don't want to take your time, but I want you to tell me exactly what the position is over the Buru to change. Can you be patient to hear my own story? Okay, go ahead. I've told you my name is Chief John Omar Sebu. Some 10 years ago, my factory burnt. I was running a phone business. The factory got burnt. Ever since, I've been living from hand to mouth. I was discussing with a friend, what do I do? We suggested, suggested me below the change. I said, how do I get into it? He said he has a, a, a friend who, we, who knows the person who is dealing with it. Then I said, can he, come, can he contact the friend to me? He contacted him. The friend came to me. I said, this is my own, what I, I need. I want to introduce my son to the man who is in the business of below the change. He said he would do it for me. Then after some days, he carried Mr. Paul Eze to me in my house. I told Paul Eze, please, this is what I want to do. Can you help me? He said from what I matter with him, he can do that for me. I said, it's okay. I take my son. So this is my son. Teach him how to do the business. He agreed. I gave him a check of five million naira, so that he can from there be feeling my son because he newly married, has a, a he had two children, two children. I was giving them some Who was newly of, married with two children? Eh? John, you were newly married with two children, so. He gave you five million naira. Yeah, if I gave his master five million naira, he'd be, be feeling them from there. Then, 
they stayed for about one year. From time to time, I would ask him, how good is this business? He says it's good. He, he can make it. I say it's okay. After about one year, I called Mr. Paulus. I didn't know him from before, but he accepted to do this for me. I asked him, how is this business? He said the boy has, has gotten, has, they have trained him. What I need now is to register. I said, how much will it cost me? He said, 50 million naira. I said, 50? He said, yes. He said, but I haven't got that amount now. Can he borrow me some part? He said, no. I said, all right, I will approach my bank. I approached my bank. I gave me a check of 45 million naira. Gave him, go to my bank, borrow some money, make it up. They check cash. They told me it is stay up to one year before the central bank return some money out of it. I said, when they return the money, I will take 20 million I borrow bank and pay the bank back. He agreed with me. Then we stay- You borrowed 20 million from the bank? Yes. Then he waited, waited until one year. The central bank returned the money. I asked him, what of the money I want to pay to the bank? The from there he told me, say, my son sees the whole money. He don't refuse to give me anything. I say, sis. When did you when did you make that demand? How eh? long ago? Eh? How long ago did you make that demand for the money? It's one year ago now, one year. By a year now. One year and a half ago. So the boy sit on the money. He have been trading with the money for the past one year and a half. Paul had been running. I wrote a letter to Paul, say, return my money to me. If you cannot give me the money to pay the bank, return the money to me. He said he's doing something about it. Some of his effort is where we are now to compel the boy to give him the money to give to me. Now, what I am asking for is for him to give me the whole 50 million plus instruments of trading, registration, and so, on and so forth, so that since he had traded with it for one year and a half, he doesn't care to see me, he doesn't care to return anything to me. Let me see who else can manage it for me, because I wanted business to be family business. But once I failed, there's no need. I want the business and the money. This is what I am praying. So John, what do you have to say to that? Because this is contrary to, some of the things he said is contrary to mm -hmm. some, what you said earlier on. Like which one? especially as to the running of the business. You heard he said it was meant to be a family business, and but putting you forth as a son to learn the business and take charge, but ultimately it's supposed to serve the whole family. We were addressing the issue of the company as your company before, being run, which I believe and I told you should be for the benefit of at least your diet while still alive because he invested in you. But now he is even, he's bringing another angle that is actually a family business. But as much as you have told me that it's a family business, I knew that at the time when you registered it, when I look at the share holding, the three of you, did you agree on, that, on the share holding before it was registered? I was to be the major holder. I, Who registered the company? Eh? Yeah. I was the one. You registered the company. Did it I, tell you I, that I it was supposed to be the major? To do the registration. I said it to your honor. He, changed, he told me that it's him, the son, and the other son. Then something came up that, in fact, the other woman, Say that he doesn't. She doesn't want any business, any combined business with this guy. In that case, we now decided that. The Who are the we? Who are the we that decided? We, we are to all the three of you decided three three of that what? Yes, that what? We all know. We all discussed that the license will now be two. That's not what I'm asking you. 
I'm asking you how you that registered the complaint through a lawyer arrived at a location of shares whereby he had 80% and he had maybe 10, 10 and 10. So how did you arrive at that? Yeah. Now, uh, I left the registration with him and his order, but I know that my share had to be the highest. He, the remaining, for instance, if I take 70, he take 30, 20 to him, 10 to his wife. That's how I propose it. But how he registered, he changed the whole thing. I didn't know. It's only when I asked him to show me the paper of registration. He was hiding, 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 hiding. Who was hiding? The, the Chijuki was hiding it. Yeah. After the registration But it's not Chijuki. Sorry for cutting you short. It's not Chijuki that registered the company. He just confirmed he's the one that registered the company. And he's not a shareholder in the company. But he gave the lawyer that he used instruction on the percentage to allot to each of the shareholders. So I'm asking you, where did you get that breakdown from? How did you arrive at the breakdown of the percentage you gave to each person? The percentage was discussed in their house, but maybe the father could not remember. Even when they were, even when I sent money into the account, the money I sent into three of them, bears the percentage also. But That's maybe what you said earlier. The problem I can envisage here is during signing of the papers, if the father did not accept the percentage, he would have raised issue. But he, but Chijoke did not give the paper to him to sign. Let's not complicate the issues on ground. So he wants 20 million naira. Before he came in, you said you can advance 5 million naira immediately. All right? That's the first step. I want you to, the, your other option I told you is not acceptable. I didn't even wait for him to get here before I rejected it. On the yearly basis. My problem As well. is that he has the money. He needs. Is his money? Now, am I going as to much? give the money to pay off or still give him as a return from the business? No, let's say the business is running. Let, let me tell years. you, if he needs 20 million naira, that 20 million naira is going, it's not coming back to you. That 20 million is going to him, it's not coming back to that business unless he unilaterally decides again, which he can wake up one morning and do and says he's invested back. Father and son, that's your business, whatever you do. But right now, I'm addressing what is before me. So you said five can come out now. I'm back to that question. When next are you bringing out the rest? There are a lot of people out there, if they get 10 million naira, their life will change. You hear that? The, you can hear that. It's not the same. You can hear that in the courtroom. It's not the Try same. Try people here with 10, 10 million naira. <laughs> we'll see them, see, look at them raising hands over there. That's why I said, you see, most cases, you don't appreciate what you have until you lose it. Yeah, I do. That is life. I do. I do, honestly. You don't seem to appreciate this man. Honestly. There's, it's a long history. I works. look at him. It's a pitiable state, the way he walked in. For him to for you to make him come here in this state to be arguing over his own money. He's not even asking for everything. He's not even asking for everything. And that's why I keep saying father and son. Okay. Because if he's an outsider, we'll be talking about every dime right now. Even the profits that you have not declared. Because we are all shareholders. Have you paid anybody out of the profits? There are a lot of issues I don't want to go into because I don't want to complicate it for you. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving you soft landing. I'll give him five now, then towards the end of the year, I'll give him another five. Towards the end of? Yeah. It's not possible. It's too Mommy, far. Remember what I told you? This. <coughs> hey, oh, when, no. when we, when we, when we, like I was. Let me ask you, first of all, how much do you have? Be careful what you tell me. There are all things I can cross check. Yes. I, I didn't want to go this far before, but we are pushing me there. How much does the company have in their account right now? 
It's about 30. They have 30 million naira there. Okay. So why is it difficult for you to pull out at least 15 for him right now? And you share it 50-50. It's money. Give me 20 million. Let me return to the bank first of all. Let him out of 15 million naira. Let him give me 20 million naira first. He's not worthy of the trust. A father should have on his son. We heard what he said. I gave him take. 50, if I have told you I gave him check, he went and grabbed the money. Let him, they thought, what is he doing with the 50 million? Has he made 1 million? Has he made 100,000 himself? I gave him 50 million to take on trust. You grab it and tell me you pay me 5, 5 million. What am I doing with 5 million? I, want, I don't trust him. He's not worthy of, worthy of any trust. You have to correct that image. I have a money for my equity. For 30 years. You are acting it too. Um, you don't know you are acting it. I have a money for the equity. I have to be blunt, honest with you. For 30 years. You never disappoint me one day. Put our first bill from Bank of Industry, 250 million. When my factory bond, he worked with insurance. They paid the money. 250 million. I have no money to start again. I with a small fraction of money. That's what I've been managing. Then he, they were blaming me that time. So I, I went and give my make my manager somebody else. Somebody else. Where he is. He said he too he, he flew for his, look at the trust I gave him now. 50 million. He he make fool of me. This, this was not the original intention. These things came up. Like, you know, he said, he said something. Get away. You know, I'm trying to come. He said you know, something that. Chijoke, wait. wait. You are a rook. There are two things I a want rook. to ask you. A rook, he's a rook. There are two things I want to ask you. The money to start the business. Who owns the money? You will know. It belongs to him. He gave if me he the money. Can give then me, when he gave you the money, if he, the money and he, didn't give if he the gave you the money, days. look, if. If a father give a child even five naira, and now wake up and say, I need two naira out of that five naira I give you. Yeah. So, well, what should be the answer of that child? They will comply. Huh? The, the child should comply. Exa that's you. You no, just, just judge because... yourself. Give him 20. I don't want you to run the company anymore. Tie it down. Give me my money. Give me the instrument of management. And go away. Go and start your own business. I, I, I thought out this one. That is what he has called, called it friend. He assisted me in registering that thing. Then you grab it. You grab it and run Maybe away. 20. Because you thought I was dying. You thought I was, I was dying. No, as God has preserved my life. For the past four years, I, I have a suit. For the past four years, I have a suit. I didn't mean cash. Let me have the bank account. You thought I was dying. Which bank is it? Stambik. Stambik, I BTC. We'll step into chambers. You call Stanbeck. Okay. I don't want, since one year, he hasn't cared. All the villages, the elders have persuaded him to bring this money. He doesn't care. Even Bogos, there's a one. Let him give me money and my business. I register for the family. I will give it back to the person who helped him register it. Then we think what to do. Let him go and find something to do. Let him get it. He's not qualified to to be a businessman in the below the change. I want my business and my money. I can't take 10, ten even this 20 I asking him is just, just consider it. Let him give me back my money and my business. That's what I'm pleading with you. Help me to get the business for him and the and the money. He's a, he's a young man, how many years is he? He's under 40. I have been struggling since 85 years ago. Struggling up to now. He's a crazy boy. Very useless boy. I want my money and, uh, and the business. I beg you, in the name of God, help me. Rule that he will give me back my money and my business. Let him go and find the business mm -hmm. doing. This, uh, many is, this has been the... I thought I had this one. one. This, is, this has Wait, been the... Wait, sir. I thought I had this business. Sir, can I, mm. can I come in? It's your blood. You know him better than anybody. You know yourself better. 
But um, I don't know, for whatever it is, at a point in time you believed in him. He disappointed you along the line. That is the position that you are right now. A Yoruba man was my manager for 30 years. He never divert my money in one penny. Give me my money. Did I borrow you money? You did not borrow me money. Give me my money now. Give me my money. He will give me so, 20 million at instant. 15 million. Did you throw it away? And he promised me one, one million at every month as allowance. Since one year and a half, has he given me one naira? Mm. He cannot give me one naira. He promised me one million every month. What's the name of the company? Okay. Take it to him. Let what him is? write the name of them. And the account details. Okay. So, um, I'll stand down the matter. All rise. All rise. After the break, George Fumi wraps this matter. Please be seated. Now, on this case, uh, first of all, like you rightly said, I found out that you, the, you have up to 30 million error in the account right now. And that means we can conveniently pay 20 million error to your father. Um, because you are the signatory and the only signatory, I found out you are the only signatory to that account right now. I discovered that, by the way. So the court hereby orders you to transfer 20 million naira into his account within 24 hours from court. That's my judgment. All rise. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case. Well, it's a very good uh, judgment on my own part because at least I have been vindicated. The issue has been on for a long time. Is uh, some, somebody who did something, a favor that's supposed to say thank you. I ended up in carrying debt in it. So at least I didn't pay anything to get judgment here. So it is a work on development. And uh, I say thank you to the judge and to everybody that is here today. Uh, I think the judgment is fair enough. A lot of lessons. Uh, the major lesson is never to trust anybody. Because all the things I did, if you look at it, it favored the guy. But at the end of it, as we are talking now, he still owing me on the same business, the one I put, my own money I put. When he has spent the whole 50 million, I put my own money to make sure that the license came out perfectly as I promised. But at this moment, he still sat on that money that he will not give it to me. No reason was given. So if I had said that time that I will not put that money, the license will never come out. And this is a business he's getting 1.6 million every week now. It was difficult for him to pay his father just that uh, 20 million naira. I've learned to try to settle things amicably as much as I can before resorting to the court system, before it gets to the court. He betrayed me and stole my money and neglected me. He thought I was dying. I didn't die. I'm alive and it's here. 